Hello and welcome to Optics Trades YouTube channel. I have a rifle scope from a highly anticipated series here today from Ranger 4, which was introduced to the public around a week ago. And there was a lot of noise and a pretty strong marketing campaign about this series. So I'm eager to share all the information about this scope with you in this review. This is the Driven Hunt model, the 1 of 4 by 24. Steiner is one of the biggest producers of binoculars in Europe and they also went into the field of rifle scope production somewhere in 2013, maybe 2014. The first model was Night Hunter, it was a great scope but they went straight for the premium class so it was difficult to compete with all the renowned rifle scope manufacturers from Europe. So in 2015 they went for a smarter move, they introduced the Ranger series which were cheaper so the models in the, the series were cheaper. They were placed between 900 and 1,200 euros and they were a decent product for this price class. And this is without doubt the reason they be soon became popular among hunters and up to now they have been among the most popular hunting rifle scopes around 1,000 euros. Um, throughout the time I think that the biggest competitor was probably Zeiss with Conquest DL which was then followed by Conquest B4 line of scopes there were some other competitors such as Minox, Dokter, Meopta, but not other, no other traditional rifle scope manufacturers had a decent competitor in this price class. So this is probably the reason why Steiner Ranger was a success from the start. And now the second generation is here. It carries the number four, which uh, basically tells us its zoom factor. Um, they had a strong marketing campaign. There was a lot of noise, so people the customers really eager to get their hands on uh, on these devices and now that we have tested them I will um, I'm happy to show to basically tell you what we have learned and what we have seen uh, during the testing they also came up with Ranger 6 series at the beginning of this year in January 2021 it features a six times zoom factor so they're trying to break into the premium class again if you're interested in six times zoom factor do check those rifle scopes out. We have individual reviews on those models on our YouTube channel. But let's go back now to this particular model, the Ranger 4 1 of 4 by 24. So this is the Driven Hunt model. We also have the 2.5 uh, to 10 by 50, an all-rounder. We have a Twilight Specialist 3 to 12 by 56. We also have a 6 to 24 by 56, which is a novelty. This magnification range combined with a 56 millimeter objective lens is getting more popular by the day so I can see the why the Steiner chose to include it in the model range. It's a pity that the stocking model the 2 to 8 by 42 is gone because it was really popular here, here in Europe and the 4 to 16 by 56 has also been replaced with the 6 to 24 so we have four models for now. But now let's say a few words about the improvements that the 4 Ranger brings. There are plenty of mechanical ones. The mechanical ones have to do with the movement and the smoothness of the magnification and the diopter ring. So they bo both move smoother and allow for finer adjustments. There are now also plus and minus marks on the diopter ring. The clicks on the turrets are farther apart and they produce crisper sounds. The same goes for the illumination adjustment turret. And I think that the gloves wearers will be especially fond of these upgrades as you can feel the adjustments better and making it easier to, to set it as you wish. The new model is longer than the previous one I would say the difference is about two to three centimeters, so quite noticeable. It comes with a redesigned 4AI reticle. It's still based on the popular German 4, but with the old models, the lines of the reticle used to intersect in the middle, and an illuminated dot appeared in the center when the illumination was turned on. Now they replaced the intersection in the middle with a fine dot, adding a small gap between it and the lines. And you can see that here in the instruction manual. This is how the new 4AI looks in the Ranger 4 series. The Ranger 6 still has the previous um, version of the radical available in the Ranger models. I noticed that the illumination is not as day bright as it used to be 
on the older model, which can be an issue because we all know that driven hunts mostly occur when it's on the at the peak of the day when the illumination when the brightness is really strong so you need strong illumination um, there were 11 levels on the previous model there are 11 levels here as well but when set to 11 i think that the dot is as bright as it used to be uh, on the level 7 in the previous generation so 11 equals 7 on previous generation and you can't go higher than that so the illumination could be a little bit stronger um, especially it will be great because it's possible then to do a quicker target acquisition especially in driven hunts for which this rifle scope is designed i still like how the uh, this uh, illumination adjustment turn is designed with an off switch in between each level and here you can clearly see which section is for daytime which section is for nighttime for dusk so this is what i still like and it clicks better than the old uh, than the old turret well the turrets are capped typical for a hunting scope and they're low profile the click is one centimeter at 100 meters they feature 14 and a half mils of elevation 60 clicks in one revolution and they can easily be reset to zero if you pull them out and then just set them back the chassis has also been improved it is still in black, but is a tad glossier compared to the previous generation. This is due to the scratch-resistant hard anodizing that covers the body of the rifle scope, protects, protects it from minor scratches. The reticle is in the second focal plane, so it's a classic hunting reticle designed for the European hunter. It weighs half a kilo, so 500 grams. It is 29 centimeters long, and as I said, about 30 three centimeters longer than the first generation. It is filled with nitrogen so that you won't have problems with internal fogging at low temperatures and you can use it down to minus 25 degrees Celsius without problems. Um, it features a robust aluminum housing and Steiner devices are known for their ruggedness. This rifle scope is of course no exception. It is uh, made in the US just like the first generation so it's not made in Germany as some people think it has a 30 millimeter tube for mounting purposes and it also comes with an option of getting it in, with a rail below so this is new this wasn't the case this wasn't uh, so with the first generation it those models will be available later in the year on this and on the Twilight model the rail will be av available at least this is the situation for now and I think that it's great that they added this option as some prefer rail mounting over ring mounting because of its many advantages. And it's not typical for rifle scopes in this price class to be available with a mounting rail. It's usually limited to those priced above 1,500 euros. And uh, so I think that this is definitely a great addition. The models with the rail will be a little bit more of a, uh, expensive, uh, 100 euros to be specific. It comes with 10 years of warranty and if something goes wrong after this period expires you can count on Steiner's repair service I think that they offer one of the best service departments in the industry that can be matched with Swarovski's repair service so if something goes wrong you can definitely count on them optically there have also been some improvements this is still a great rifle scopes uh, rifle scope in terms of optical qualities now the field view has been a little bit improved um, it has been ma made wider. At one times magnification, the rifle scope now provides 40 meters of field of view at 100 meters instead of 37, which applies to the first generation. Uh, the rifle scope also fares slightly better in the dusk compared to the previous generation. The light transmission rate has been slightly improved. This information doesn't um, really affect this rifle scope as it's not made for dusk, but if you have a twilight model, you will definitely be fond of this upgrade. Uh, the first Ranger series, as I said, was great optically and the second one definitely follows it, its example. Uh, and now it's even mechanically on a higher level, higher level than it used to be. The image is sharp even on the edges. There is no tunnel effect at any of the magnifications. The parallax is fixed at 100 meters 
with a rifle scope you get this bikini cover you get a an instruction manual available in many languages you get a Steiner lens cloth and everything comes in this nice looking box that is soft on the inside so you can transport the rifle scope without worrying that it will get damaged on the way. The flip up covers will be available as an after sale accessory. I think they're great to consider because this bikini cover doesn't really do the rifle scope much justice. The price is around 950 euros with the size ZMVM rail underneath the price will be 1050 euros so 100 euros more expensive. Okay now that we're slowly getting towards the end of this review I want to go through the disadvantages and advantages starting with the latter as I usually do. What I like is that this is still an optically great rival scope. I also like the field of view improvement. Um, I like all the mechanical improvements they might seem minor, but there are a lot, there's a lot of them. So the smoothness of the rings, the clicks on the turrets, and you will notice these, especially if you're using gloves. I also think it's nice that they add in an option of purchasing a rail model, especially in this price category of 1000 euros, where this is really not common. What about the disadvantages? Well, the first one is illumination, which is not really as strong as it used to be. So the level 11 on the Ranger 4 equals level 7 on the previous Ranger models. So this is where I think the, they could have done it a little bit better. It's also a little bit longer, which some might not like, even though you now have more place for mounting, especially here in the front part. Some might argue that a 4 times zoom factor is also not enough, but it is for most cases and if you want a 1 to 6, you can simply check the Ranger 6 series, but you also have to pay around 500 euros more for it. Some will like radical design, some won't. And I do not really like this bikini lens cover, but you have flip up covers available as an accessory. Check them out because they're really great and really popular and many customers do decide for them. Well, Ranger 4 remains a benchmark in the price class around 1000 euros. And even though the dot is not as daytime bright as it used to be on uh, the first generation models, the 1 to 4 by 24 still convinces in terms of optics and mechanics. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this review useful, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to add anything to this review. Check out our other videos on Stein Rifle Scopes and other products of theirs. And see you next time. Take care.